You guys are going to have a bunch of different coaches in your whole career of wrestling. And they're going to tell you a whole bunch of different things. They're going to go about practice very differently. This is something that you don't really think about as an athlete, but there is a million, million different ways to go about coaching. Some people are in your face yelling at you. Some, some people know how to give you positive reinforcement. Some people are very relaxed and let you do your own thing. You know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of different ways to coach. And when receiving coaching, something you have to understand is that each coach is going to tell you what works for them, what they have found success with, how they have won matches, all right? They're not gonna tell you anything that they've lost matches with. They're not gonna try to make you a worse wrestler. They're gonna do what they think works, all right? And a lot of the time they tell you very definitive things like this is exactly how it has to be. It has to be like this, this, and this, and this. You know what I mean? And wrestling isn't like that. Wrestling is a very, very creative sport. So that's where, that's where a lot of coaches go wrong because just because something works for you doesn't mean it'll work for your student, right? If you were a 220 or a 285 and you're teaching something to a freshman, right? It might not, like, it may very well work. It may very well be perfectly fine, but then again, it might not. It might not be something that works for him. And you have to understand that you can't, like, what a lot of kids on my team would do is they would decide which coach they liked the best, which coach they thought was the best at wrestling, and they would only listen to them. That is the wrong way to go about it. That is the worst way to go about it. You have to listen to everyone. You have to be a student to everyone. Everyone who's coaching you has something to teach you, okay? They have something to tell you, something to give you. So, for example, a coach that, um, when he wrestled was a 145 and he was 6'2", is gonna tell you something worlds different from someone who was 5'4", 175, was just like a short stocky guy, right? The long lanky guy is gonna tell you something completely different from the short stocky guy. For example, I have to keep my stance super aggressive and super wide because if my feet get too close, then the odds of someone shorter than me getting beneath me and wrapping my legs up increase exponentially, right? I've learned this from experience. If my feet aren't wide apart and my hands aren't directly in front of it, if my feet are even close together, or if I'm standing up, like my knees are locked out, then I will get shot on. My head needs to be beneath my opponent. If not, I will get shot on. This not, might not be the same advice that you give to a heavyweight that doesn't go under the same threat of getting shot on and getting taken down where they have to worry more about upper body or getting snapped or getting weight put on them that they can't lift. Throughout your entire wrestling career, just take note, like take everything that everyone tells you with a grain of salt. No one knows exactly what to do. Wrestling is a super creative sport. It's closer to an art than a sport and it's up for your interpretation. It's up for you to decide what you put out on the mat. And now this isn't to say that there aren't wrong things that you can do in a wrestling match. This isn't to say that there isn't bad technique, that there isn't just be aware that everything your coach tells you might not work for you, but that doesn't make it wrong. That doesn't mean it doesn't work for someone. So if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys have any ideas for videos, comment them down in the comment section below. I always read that. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.